uh, this video I'm making now while trapping with my, with my stepbrother. Um, it's really, really cold temperatures outside. Um, anywhere from, you know, five above, five above to 30 below zero. Uh, we've got baited sets, snare poles, snares and runs, 330s, you name it. Um, so we'll do this episode on trapping some beaver in really cold weather. So uh, hope you enjoy the video. Thanks. Hey folks, I uh, made a weasel, weasel set here the other day. Caught a nice weasel. Um, I do is I just I hang a piece of deer scrap or muskrat up underneath the rushes and uh, hang it from a stick and make a little cubby and I just bed a trap underneath it and I catch weasels that way but every now and then I get lucky and catch a mink and sure enough it looks like I got a really nice male here and he's got going oh, oh, anywhere are you there buddy uh, yeah I uh <laughs> that's awesome oh thanks to the, 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 there's been rabbits up in here really thick too so I'm sure that's another reason why the mink have been running around up in here but uh, whoa we're gonna dispatch this guy and uh, take this trap with us then we got, we got some beaver traps to catch so got another set here um, there's a got this point on this fishing lake there's a beaver house over here up in the rushes got a got a feed pile to your right had a conibear bear set over there. Um, it was sprung, nothing in it. Uh, it was a, it's a Belial 330, a brand new one. Usually, you know, you don't, you don't miss them with Belials. But I got another run here set going up through the bog here into the house. Uh, I, I just checked the trap. I feel I got something in it. I don't know. Hopefully, it's a nice sized beaver. We've got a couple today already for you guys that were both small and some snares. But what time we got one out of a conibear. bear? And this was a nice run. It's it's really shallow, like you know, maybe a foot and a half deep. Um, I just put the, push the springs out on this on this belial and set it dead smack in the run. There's one stick, another stick. Let's see here. Got this one coming in. Oh yeah. Oh, it hits a. Yeah. There, see, I'll, this is this is how this is how good Belial kind of bears are. I'll pull this guy out. Oh yeah, and even to top it all off, this beaver is limp. Look at how big this beaver is, and it's limp. I mean, we had to have just caught this beaver maybe a half hour, 20 minutes ago. Look at that tail on that thing too. See that big scar right there from fighting with other beaver and stuff. Look at that. Big, nice big blanket, and I mean nailed him right by the head that Belial made short work of him I'll take him out of the trap for you guys here we'll reset it too a lot of people use trap setters I've been I've been going for years without using them so I've gotten used to it here we go <laughs> Look at that, that's a, that's a, it is, it's a big beaver. That's, you know, probably 50 pounds. We'll reset this trap quick. I'm gonna check this run here, make sure everything's, yeah, this. The beaver literally had zero chance of getting around this trap. Unless they were carrying a stick or something, you know, to get through it, but. I usually wire all my safeties up. Good thing about Belial Kana bears, the once you take the safeties off, they don't they don't slip or move. Um, I've had these Belials for five or for I don't know five or six years now, some of them, and still they don't move. You take the safety off, take this safety off, flip it up, go like that. I'm actually going to set this Kana bear in there on the bottom, just like this. And this runs really shallow, narrow. And I'm going to I'm going to put the sticks through it, just like that. That's exactly how it's going to look right in the run. And there's literally no way around this one kind of bear here. Ugh. 
Yeah, I actually, I have arm link gloves in my, in my uh, truck, but I kind of wish I had them right now, but still, I got it. It's right on the bottom. And there's one stick. It's going to go right through there. Push that down in there. Other stick. And this is, the water here is also really crystal clear. Uh, also helps me out quite a bit. I can actually see where the trap is to place it a little bit better. I'm actually going to move it over just a hair. There we go. Take a look down there. And, yeah. That's it. Throw a little snow over it, you know. That took, uh, what, a whole four minutes to, to take this beaver out and reset it. I'm gonna, I'll dry them off a little bit here. You, you run them through the snow, especially a fresh beaver, and uh, they dry off in, in minutes. In fact, I'll, you know, I'll give you a shot of them. Oh, they got them all dried off. That's a, you can see that's a solid, God, that's 50, it's at, that's at least 50 pounds, maybe even a little bit more. Well, got one big one for you guys. We still got two more checks to do yet, so hopefully we'll connect on another one here. All right, we'll see you at the next set. We were out here at this set uh, two days ago and caught a nice sized uh, blanket beaver out of this set. Caught one out of that set over there yesterday, just a small one. We got another beaver in this set here. I'm really hoping it's a big one so I can pull these traps out of here and set them someplace else. Um, I just chopped the trap out, saw that there's a beaver in the belial. I'll chop it out here. Hopefully it's a big one. We kind of got uh, kind of got skunked today a little bit. Had some snares that were pulled down and stuff. So we got, but we got we set up some new traps yesterday. So oh. all right, there's a stick. There's a stick. I'm gonna chop this out a little bit bigger. I noticed I got them coming in too. Haha, oh. <laughs> it's the other big one. Got him right by the head too. I don't think he's frozen to the ice, is he? No. Let's see here. There's a, there's a, there's a chunk of bog here with a big stick underneath it, and I'm just trying to get him unstuck. There we go. All right. Huh. See that? You tell me that isn't a perfect catch on this big beaver? Look at that. Another, look at that, the other one's tail is all chewed up. Look at that one there, same thing. Tail's all chewed up. Been fighting with other beaver. This here's another blanket. It's not gonna be a, it wasn't as big as the other one. The other one was probably just over 50 pounds this one here will probably go 45 but yeah as you can you can see right there that belial caught him dead dead shot right to the noggin sweet that means we can pull these traps and uh, reset them someplace else so we'll we'll get on that and get you guys some more beer pictures and videos all right see you there got a lodge we set here a couple days ago um Got six runs set, got three bank dens set, three runs set in the house. We got a beaver in this set and a beaver in that set. Uh, we'll chop them out. I don't know how big they are, but we're gonna find out real soon. Made a lot of ice last night. So actually, I, 
I made, we made that set and these, and these other sets a few days ago. We just set this one yesterday. And it's probably already three inches of ice over these sets. And I literally set them yesterday around four o'clock. So that gives you an idea of how cold it is out here. My swivel stick. This is, a, this is actually a deeper run. Oh, my stake. You know, it's probably three feet deep or so. There's a lot of sticks in this in these holes here. Oh, it looks like a pretty good drill. Oh, it is. It's a pretty good size one. Oh, there you go, folks. To that. Probably it's an extra large, not a not a blanket, but nice beaver. I'll pull him out of the trap here quick, and we'll chop the other trap out. I always try to I was try to gang set beaver houses. You know, if you if you got enough traps, you want to cover the house as much as you can. You know, if you're intending on catching as many beavers as possible, then you can get out as, get most beaver out. And let's see here, I caught him. Yeah, caught him coming back into the lodge. So must be another run someplace I don't have covered. But, Stretch this one out a little bit. There's one. I'd be really happy if we got both big beaver out of here, then I can pull these traps. I'm thinking it's going to be a small one, though, I don't know. We'll see. Anybody want to take any bets? Because <laughs> with my luck, I never catch the big ones right away. Another extra large. Uh, yep, another extra large. Trapping through, the, trapping through the ice is no easy chore, that's for sure. Ugh. My swivel stick. Stake. Oh, let's see here if I can pull a, pull a beaver up out of here for you guys. get some of this ice out of the hole. One thing I definitely did not like about this house is it's been here for so long that all these runs that I'm setting trapped in, I had to pull all kinds of sticks out of the runs. Like there was tons of dead sticks over the runs. I couldn't get my trap in there. I had to kick sticks out of the way and break them out of the way and you name it. Here. So I'm just trying to fish my conibear out of there enough to get this beaver out right now. Here we go. Oh, ha. Just a little guy. It's all right though. Well, actually he's not. I mean he's not big, but he's not. Uh, he's not a kit.
the V rod on my 330 here. When you're trapping in cold weather like this, your conibear bear will ice over in literally seconds. So whenever I'm trapping cold weather, I get my beaver off my out of my trap, throw the conibear back in the water, let it soak a little bit, straighten my beaver out, put this one over here with this one. Uh, you can see size difference here. This one's this one's gonna be an extra large. This one will be a large. There, uh, there should be some more beaver in here. I'm gonna reset these traps. And uh, we got one more place to check here. Um, hopefully we'll have some more beaver for you guys there. So, see you there. Got a beaver set here, um, put out here yesterday. 330 con of air in a bank den. Um, these beaver were trapped last fall. They told the homeowners that uh, they caught all the beaver out of here and the homeowner paid them, of course. And I stopped in just to ask to go trapping and the homeowner said, go ahead, but there's no beaver left. I reassured them after I came out here that that was definitely not true because the, all the runs around the house and the bank and stuff are wide open. So I don't know if sounds to me like the people that uh, were trapping out here he didn't see and he didn't see he didn't see them catch beaver either he just asked for how many they caught so you know that goes some people are dishonest unfortunately i haven't chopped the trap out i just know there's a beaver in it we're going to chop it out quick and i'll uh reset it for you guys and we'll take a look at the beaver let's see here My swivel stick. I should say my anti swivel stick. Uh. My state, the conner bear is on. And then let's see if we can get a Ooh, yes. Yeah, small one, big one. Oh no, yeah, see, <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Hope you folks can see that. Got a extra large borderline blanket beaver here. Caught him coming in from the house out there. My other traps were not sprung, by the way. So, uh, yeah, so here's one of the beavers that. Another trapper uh, missed. Uh, I noticed on the house that there was sticks around the house and the trapper missed the, missed these bank runs here. I mean, the bank runs is where I catch most of my, my really, really big beaver at, you know, and it's also a, sm a small uh, uh, getaway for the beaver from the house, you know. Um, a lot of people don't target bank runs or don't even know about them, I guess you could say. But uh, bank runs for me is where it's at, you know. I can definitely, definitely get some big beaver out of bank runs. We're gonna stretch this beaver out here. It's, you know, it's gonna be an extra large. I'm assuming there's just two beaver in this house. I, you know, I guess the guy could have, the people could have caught another, could have caught one of the beaver out of here, but I mean, I've seen a lot of houses uh, and got a pretty good idea of numbers and the, there, it's just a little tiny feed pile you know i'm sure that whoever was here before just probably took advantage of the homeowner and i'm not even charging him i just told him i'll come and trap some beaver so uh there we go i got my 330 i'm gonna put my put my stake through like that it goes in the bottom and then this stick here goes right through the counter bear right here. I don't know if you people can see it or not. That's just so the, that's just so the trap doesn't swivel back and forth. So I'm gonna get this in here. You know I got. <laughs> you guys are gonna call me dumb. Oh, my arm length gloves are in my truck. So and it's you know 
I shouldn't say it's warm out here today, but it's, uh, you know, it's 20 degrees out here. So I'm not afraid to stick my arm in the water for a second. Guide this little stick between the jaws there. Push it in the bottom. That's it, traps reset. Takes, you know, once you got your sticks and stuff in there, it takes a whole couple minutes is all. All right, traps reset. I'm gonna kick some snow over the run, so the, the beaver, the beaver might be trapped smart, you know. It's kind of nice to have it nice and dark, so the beaver can't see it coming in. But and again, there he is. There's that beaver. All right, we got one more spot left to check, and uh, hopefully we'll get some more beaver there. All right, folks, we're back here. My stepbrother again trapping beaver. Um, here, got a big beaver lodge here. We got a got a snare pole set here, a baited snare pole. Uh, set it out yesterday. Got pretty cold last night. It's eight below out right now. Uh, Twenty-one below at the wind chill. Got up here to check the set. Um, I always brush the ice off, see if I can see any air bubbles in the run. Well, I brush the ice off the run, and if you come over here and take a look at the ice right here. You'll notice that there's no need to brush the air bubbles off to see the beaver's head poking out of the ice here. So, kind of glad I wired all this off real nice the way I did. I'll pull this beaver out here quick, give you guys a show of it, and then uh, I'll shut the camera off and remake the set. These beaver here, um, I trapped them this fall. There's a there's a there's actually a condo association over here, and these beaver have been cutting trees down like you wouldn't believe for, uh, for you know a few years. I trapped them. I trapped a bunch of them out of here about six years ago, and the past few years I haven't been trapping out here. And now they now they uh, have been have real problems with them. So I, I trapped them in open water. I caught two extra larges and some smaller ones. But I didn't get any really big beaver, and then somebody else came out here about three weeks ago and trapped him, and he caught none, nothing. Um, because snaring is the only way you're gonna get the rest of these beaver out of here. So, oh. It is not going to be fun resetting this snare, these snares in this cold weather. It's a lot of, it's a lot of work trapping beaver through the ice in the winter time. A lot of work, but it's well worth it. You know, you might not make a million dollars, but you have a lot of fun doing it. Oh, there you go. There's my beaver I got. Got him right around the middle of the body. So, just a little guy. I'm surprised I didn't get him in one of my conibears this fall. So I'll uh, take him out of here and reset this, I guess. And yeah. So, we'll see you at the next set. All right, here's that. Got that big lodge out there. And there's a bank then that comes winding through the bog here. It wasn't that easy to find. But I've had a conibear in here for about four days now and haven't had anything in it. And now today the trap is fired off and I got a beaver in it. So we'll pull the pull the stake out there. It's pretty it was a shallow run too. The beaver must have been hold, held up in the bank for a while. But, oh, let's see here. I got him by the head. Oh it looks like a looks like a big one. Oh yeah it is. Oh yeah. Oh it's a really big one too. Holy 60 pounder. Ho 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 ho. Ho ho ho. 60 pounder. Oh my god. Look at this behemoth. Ho 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 Oh my lord. Look at that tail. Holy crap. That's the female. Holy lord almighty. Look at the tail on that thing. It's like a freaking, like a freaking rudder on a boat. Wow. Ho 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 ho. Oh. Take a look at the backside of this monster. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Look at this beast. Oh Lord Almighty. That's the one I've been looking for out of here. Awesome. Awesome, you guys. So happy. Look at that. Look at that head catch too on this monster. Oh. Awesome. I'll take it out and we'll see you at the next set. Hey folks. Um back here. Got a beaver lodge set up here. Got my Belial 330. The water is crystal clear in this beaver house. Um nothing in any of the beaver sets. Um by this one run here. I I uh just checked. I see the conibear has sprung as you can see right down the water and there's something in it. If you notice it's not a beaver tail. Um, looks like a nice otter to me. Well, an otter anyway. My, uh, fortunately, we have one tag left between us and, uh, sorry my camera quit on me there, but there it is. It's number eight for the year for us. So, uh, yeah, good news. We tagged out in otters. There's still beaver in this beaver house. They must not have traveled last night, so I'll reset this Belial and we'll uh, try to get another one tomorrow. Or try to get a beaver tomorrow. doing some beaver trapping. It's uh, mid-November or mid-December here in Minnesota. Got a big well back here. Um, the runs on this house were really, really deep and there's no bank dens for me to set so I made a, I made a snare pole set right here. <sighs> and what that is is it's a baited set. You take a dead tree like this and you you take some some popple or red willow branches, some fresh ones, and you wire them to this tree and you mark the branches up really, really good. And uh, so the, the beaver can see the white of the branches and they think that it's feed. And when they come out of the beaver house, they come out, they think that that's part of their feed pile, and they try to eat that. And what you do is you hang a snare on each side. They swim around that in a circle and get caught up in the snares. So I made one here two days ago. Came out to check it here with my, my uh, brother Sean. And uh, I, I just chopped it out a little bit here. And I, could, and I just chopped the top out and I could see there's fur right in the top of the trap here. Or the top of the snare. So I don't know if it's big or small, but... This beaver house, Sean will, Sean will show you just a little beaver house, it's probably just two big beaver. So I'm thinking this will be a big one. I'll uh, pull it out here and show you the beaver, then I'll reset the snare and I'll quick, should give you another quick shot of what the snare should look like before we put it back in the lake. So let's uh, let's pull this out here quick. Get some snow out of here for you guys. I have a, what you do is you, when you put this pole in the water, what you want to do is you want to have another stick across the hole like this to brace the to brace it from not falling over or if you get a beaver in there and the beaver starts pulling around he goes and pull the stick under the ice but here's my here's my cross bracing stick right here and I just had a piece of wire that I wired to it to stabilize it set that there set my wire right next to it and here's my my snares that are wired to the my safety here. 
chop this trap out a little bit more for the snare out. Whatever, whenever you set these, make these sets, what you want to do is you want to, uh, when you're done, you don't want to cover it up with snow. You want as much light possible as you can get shining down inside this water here so the beaver can see those sticks down there. Let's see here. Oh, gosh, it's, no, it's actually a small beaver. I'm surprised. Oh God, he's look at how small that beaver is. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> oh gosh, this is just a little guy. Wow. I don't know if I've caught a beaver that small before. <laughs> oh geez. All right, well. Baby. We're gonna shut the video off and I'll remake this quick and then I'll give you, a, we'll give you another quick video shot of what it looks like before uh, I put it back in the water. So yeah, so I'll see you guys here shortly. All right, <clears throat> got this beaver here. I don't know, it was, I know I went to pull my snare out of the water and it wasn't coming out. So I chopped a little bit, poked down there with my ax handle, felt the beaver frozen to the top of the ice. So I just chopped out a big chunk of the ice. Um, and uh, yeah, I guess I just chopped a big chunk of the ice out and I'm gonna pull this snare out here as soon as I get it unwired from the stick. It'd be really nice to get a big one out of here because all we've gotten so far is small ones. I'm going to come back in the spring here and uh, trap these beaver again because this is actually a this is actually a music festival. Um, oh crap! I'll just try to pull it out of the water here. Oh, it's oh, it's, a, it's a big one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's a big one. There you guys go. There we go. I got him, got him right around the neck and the front shoulder here with my snare. And you can see he floated up here and froze in the ice. But he still didn't get away. Oh, 40 below. It's not a whole lot of fun in 40 below weather. So I'm gonna pull my pull my line here and we'll redo it. We go go back out when it's above zero. So. Cool beans, folks. Got another 3.30 here. This is our third uh, beaver of the day. We've got, you know, in the last couple traps, we got a, an extra large and about a 70 pounder on the last uh, set. That's the one I'm really proud of. But we got one con of bear on this house here. Um, set it a couple days ago. Nothing in it yesterday. Put the chop trap out today, and I see there's oh uh, yeah, there's a beaver. There you go. <laughs> Another big one. And you got Belial 330. Made short work of him. Uh, not a not a big blanket, but uh, an extra large for sure. I only could find one running out of this house. There's this little feed pile here, this little dinky slough. Fish house on here too. But uh, it's really cold out, so I'm gonna get this beaver out of the trap and head back to the truck. Had a pretty good day today. We're pulling, I'm actually pulling sets that I've been catching beaver out of for the last week. So to get two extra larges and a 70 pounder is uh, pretty good. I still got one place off to check, so maybe I'll get another one out of there. All right, good deal. Hey folks, it's December 23rd. Uh, my line today. Uh, we're pulling pulling my traps. It's really cold out. It's over 40 below today with the wind chill. Um, got a bit, shot a video. This this beaver here. This beaver ended up weighing 71 pounds. I uh, weighed it today over on a, 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 a. It was an accurate scale, but you can see this is just a just a monster. Oh. Look at the body on this thing. The tail. Um, then here's here's a bunch of beaver that we caught this past week. Just just kind of a recap. Uh, we got 17 beaver here. That's 17 beaver. Got a muskrat. Caught a mink in a set also. 
Um, out of all these, I would say we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten big beaver that are that will go extra large or uh, bigger, and uh, seven smaller ones or six smaller ones. So. Uh, yeah, we did did a lot of snaring, caught some in snare pole sets, uh, caught this big mamma jamma here in the 330, right by the head. So, uh, hope you and uh, hope you enjoyed the video I'm gonna put together for you guys. So, uh, thanks for watching.